Hello everyone. Uh, first of all, sorry for the delay start. Actually, we are waiting for others to join. So now let's start the session. First, welcome all to our webinar. Today we are going to discuss about an interesting topic called e-invoicing in busy. As uh, you know that government has come with a new uh, plan uh, which is going to be implemented from 1st of October 2022 this year. So we'll discuss about uh, that part also. And along with this, uh, we will also discuss or we will also see uh, what additional uh, benefits or uh, additional enhancement has been done in busy uh, to take care about the invoicing. So let's start this session uh, with from configuration part, we will complete entire information to configuration in this webinar. So be with us, myself Kuntal Dasgupta, your host on, on this side. Let's start the session. Now, before uh, uh, looking up the configuration module, let's have a clear idea about e-invoicing. So what do we mean by e-invoicing? E-invoicing is a basically an electric electronic system process in which all invoices uh, include B2B, credit, debit note, SEZ, export, transactions, uh, all are automated uh, through uh, uh, IRM portal and generate a unique, uh, basically a unique invoice registration number that uh, we call it a unique IRM number that is generated through the IRM portal in which Every invoicing uh, e part, every transaction had used to be getting a new IRN number. So e-invoicing has many facilities. Uh, we will discuss about these facilities also one by one. Now, what is the background of e-invoicing? Let's say uh, we will discuss on uh, this four point applicable exemptions uh, turnover and as well as the date part. So, as you know that e invoicing has started from uh, 1st of October 2020 and uh, it is applicable for B2B invoice, credit note, debit note and export transactions also. Now, what are the exemption or what which uh, organization are going to be exempted from e invoicing? Let's say uh, the SEZ unit companies or the insurance banking companies, or you can say the good transport agency company or passenger transport services company or multiplex uh, cinema, who this uh, kind of organization are exempted from e-invoicing. Now let's have, let have a discussion about the turnover. What are the limit through which e-invoicing is required, for which e-invoicing is required? Uh, have a important date we defined that uh, our on when e invoicing was started it was started in 1st of october 2020 at that time uh, the required uh, limit was 500 above 500 crores now uh, on 1st january 2021 it was 100 crores after that uh, when it come implemented in 1st april 2021 it becomes uh, above 50 crores after that, uh, when in April 2022, its uh, limit uh, is limit dropped down to 20 crores. Now it's turned for 10 crore organization, above 10 crore organization that is going to be implemented on 1st of October 2022. So you may think that uh, how interesting or how important this e invoicing is going to be uh, in future or uh, invoicing. Uh, part is going to be more exciting uh, because day by day government is changing their norms and government is changing their rule related to invoicing. So it become most uh, urgency or it become most important uh, point or it become most important features for every software to define invoicing in their software. Now, Busy has came with much better enhancement in invoicing. We will check it out. As you all know that uh, we are serving our uh, customers uh, for automated invoicing from the beginning. 
we have uh, provided GST to be the provider like Webtel to to trace or to uh, take care about about the invoicing automation of your invoice. So we will see how much better enhancement we have done so that in future uh, your invoicing can be generated in a hassle free way. Now next, uh, let's discuss about the need of invoicing. Why invoicing is required? It is required basically for the standardization of invoice for a seamless recon reconciliation. You can generate unlimited invoicing for your unlimited transaction from busy. There is no limitations and it has a lesser compliances also. Automation part is also taken care. Eliminations of fake invoice means uh, it, it trade is trace the complete fake invoicing. It's, if invoicing is enabled, then there is no chances for fake invoicing. Along with this, we have provide, uh, invoicing also provide uh, information abilities. Like suppose if you're generating an invoicing for any customer, customer can get entire information related to that invoice through QR code. So these are the points. along with this, we have uh, We have environmental friendly system also as invoicing has implemented, it promotes an environment friendly uh, process for generating invoice and to automate that invoice or auto draft that invoice. As we know that if invoicing is generated automated, then it automatically draft in GSTR one also. Next beneficials. What are the beneficials of invoicing? It saves time reduce the cost, reduce human mistakes, offer better customer service also, and easy to keep track of invoices. As I say that every invoice can be tracked through QR code, every information related to that invoice, maybe it's GSTN concern, GSTN number, or maybe uh, it's uh, uh, IRN detail, everything can be tracked through invoice QR code. So it is easy to track every each and every invoice. Now, for the implementation process in Busy, we have to uh, look upon some uh, configuration part, or we have to note some configuration part in our mind before generating an e invoice, uh, so that an e invoice can generate properly without any error or without any hassle free. So, in that case, uh, first of all, the main uh, first step is to check your company's detail, whether you have put your all the address, whether you have fit your uh, GST in details. So you have to check first the, about the company you have created or your company detail in busy. Next, you have to go to features and option and enable your e invoice from GST uh, option. Next, the third option is to uh, generate your GST user ID and password. As you can see that we have many videos in YouTube and many documentations online regarding uh, GST uh, creation uh, in uh, government portal. If you generate your GST uh, through e uh, government portals, that GST will also be applicable for your e inverse portal also. So in a single GST that you have generated it in e portal, it will help to create or to generate e inversing with that e will GSP also. So no need to create another GSP or no need to create another GSP user ID and password in e inverse as well as you have created, already created your GSP in e -Wavil. So let's say I convey you the simple step. It's a client, complete simple step. I uh, still I convey you the uh, process. You have to go to your e -Wavil portal. You have to put your user ID and password to log in your e -Wavil portal and then at the left side, you can see an API registration. Under API registration, you will get a GSP registration part. Under GSP, you have to define your user ID and password. Make sure that the GSP you are selecting should be Webtel and another GSP we have added, it's called Pinnacle FinServe. I repeat once again, we have added another GSP for e invoicing generation, it's called Pinnacle FinServe. I will discuss later 
for what reason we have added another GSP. The process is same as we have uh, done through Webtel. In Apple Tensor is uh, the same process. You can generate both the GSP user and ID and password for Webtel also, and as well as the Pinnacle FinServ also. It's Pinnacle FinServ. So is this both GSP uh, user ID and password that, that you generate in your EVAB portal, you can put uh, uh, in our e-invoice configuration portion in Visi also. Same user ID and password that you are generated in EVAB portal. Then you have to look after the configuration master portion also. Means there are many things uh, that needed to be checked, like uh, in party master whether you have put your um, station, whether you have put your pin number in uh, item master whether whether you have defined your HSM code in uh, uh, unit master whether you have defined your UQ Siemens uh, unit uh, quantity uh, for invoicing whether you have defined that so. There are many uh, few part that is to be needed to be checked in the master module before generating an e invoicing, so that your e invoice can be generated properly and you can uh, define you can get an IRN detail. Along with this master part, you have to check on the voucher series configuration part whether you have uh, or enable the generation of e invoice automatically in your entry module. Like say, suppose you, are, you want to generate e invoicing from sale entry module, you have to go to features and options. Then in, under features and options, you have to uh, select voucher series configuration. And under voucher series configuration, the series you are using for entry, you have to select that series and go to configuration part and then enable that e invoicing uh, options. Or to enable your transporter detail, you have to look after the configuration voucher series module for generating before generating an e invoicing. We'll, we'll check uh, practically in busy. Now, you may have seen uh, getting the display of our screen uh, in your screen. A screenshot has been uh, showing on your screen in uh, that uh, the e invoicing detail we are putting on the features and option GST slash that module, where uh, you have to click the GST and that module. And on the GST and that module, you have to put your e invoicing detail. See, you can see here we have added two GSP. We have added uh, added another GSP called Pinnacle FinServ. So Webtel is already providing service for invoicing. Along with Webtel, we have added another uh, GSP called Pinnacle FinServ. So you can imagine now how the power busy is providing for generating an invoicing. In some cases, it, it is it is uh, seen that getting invoicing uh, error comes that server is down or invoicing not able to get generated many feedback come are at our end so we have added more power so that in case of generating invoicing if any uh, one server get down another server will automatically phase your invoice and generate and and will generate an IRN number for your respective invoice so we have added two GSP I repeat once again, we have added two GSP in invoicing configuration module in busy. This is the part dual GSP we have added. This is the new features we have added in busy. We are, we will be working with two GSP uh, registration um, uh, portal. One is Webtel electronics that, uh, that is already serving us for invoicing generation for generation. And next is the Pinnacle FinServ. This Pinnacle FinServ is newly added. It will uh, expand more power to generate e invoice. Next, uh, what are the part where we have to check whether su such options are filled it up or not? Whether in Metro Center, we will uh, we'll have to check whether we have defined our address or station or PIN code in the Metro Center. Because whenever you generate e invoicing, there is an option for um, phasing the uh, departure uh, or phasing the destination from where you want to uh, send your goods. On that case, uh, if you want to select the destination from your material center, if you want to phase the destination details, the station and pin code should remain, fill it up. Next, uh, in the party master, you have to define your GST in the GST in detail number, GST and number.
party said that in unit we will get a uh, uqc part that unit uh, system for the invoicing you have to define your uqc for the invoicing let's say suppose example your unit is box or piece you have to generate you have to uh, fill a uh, piece for the invoicing part also so there is an option in unit to fill the invoicing unit you have to select that piece or box or any other information you want to define in your invoicing that will display on your invoicing uh, generation screen that unit you have to fill it up in the unit master module along with unit there are country if you are created in a, a new country then you have to provide your country code or you have to create your, you have to define your country name and as for the currency purpose also currency are mostly used in the export transactions whether if you are working on the export transaction export transaction in this export transaction you need to generate invoicing then currency is mandatory on that case you have to define your currency you have to define your invoicing uh, for that currency also we will later on check on the basic practically where we have to put that currency information or where we have to put that in unit detail in invoicing we will check practically in busy now this is the voucher series that i am uh, previously telling that um, apart from your master configuration we have to look after the voucher series configuration also before generating an invoicing means if you want to generate an invoicing for that particular series on your sale entry then you have to go to features and options and then you have to select the voucher series configuration and select the series under that series if you if you click the voucher series configuration button it will display the entire information you are seeing in the screen on the right side you will see a generate e invoice after selling you have to click that option generate e invoice after selling you have to enable that option and you have to enable as well as the transport detail if you want and uh, along with this if you want auto round up option you can also enable that part also after generating after configuring your voucher series you can do your sale entry for invoice generation when you go for the sale entry and when you say click the save button a uh, transport detail box will pop up on your screen and here you can define your uh, or you can uh, enable your invoice and you select your transaction type see there are many kind of transaction type in invoicing we'll uh, discuss one by one uh, practically when we move on to basic software still i uh, i convey you the summary part there are four kind of transaction that may be regular that may be uh, bill to shift to part that may be combination of two or three and uh, there are most uh, most transactions are set in automated way select automated way you can select as per your requirement if you want the billing detail and the shipping detail different if you want billing detail shipping detail and as well as the dispatch detail also so you have to select the bill form and dispatch form option uh, in the transaction type we'll we'll check in the business software see this is a sample uh, invoicing uh, structure that you are get seen uh, when your invoice get generated a uh, invoice printout will uh, uh, pop up on your screen for the display you will get a invoice uh, pr uh, printout and along with this if you want your invoicing detail qr code detail and invoicing iin number in your tax invoice that is also applicable so if anybody uh, doesn't need to provide a, a different invoice uh, print out along with the tax invoice to their customer if they want that each and every information can phase up in the single ta tax invoice then that is also possible from busy we are providing more invoicing uh, print out also and we are providing the invoicing detail in tax invoice also see so you can see that uh, i have just uh, screenshot a sample of tax invoice here you can see that we have defined uh, in the below that is defined a e invoice qr code and uh, along with the invoice qr code you will you can get the irn detail or you can face the irn detail in your tax invoice also irn number and irn date also if you uh, move on to the standard invoice there is an option to enable irn date and irn detail if you enable that it will automatically phase on your tax invoice screen
Now let's have a practical look in our busy software. Now I have opened. Uh, I have created a sample company. Uh, here you can see that uh, first uh, the first step that needed to be checked out that needed to be configured is to configure our company's detail. So in that per case, we have to go to edit company. We have to check or we have to fill up, uh, fill up the entire information related to address and uh, and the company name, all these things, and then click the save button. Next, we have to go to configuration part, then on the features and options part, and then on the GST part. Here, you have to, here is the invoice enable portion. For enabling your invoice, you have to click that option. You have to click the uh, configure button. And here in this configure button, you have to define your company's place from where you, are, uh, we, you will process your invoice or from where you will dis, uh, distribute your goods to your customer, that PIN code. Next, uh, we have provided two uh, GSP user ID and password provision over here. Let's say I've created Finacle Finser as a dummy company and I've provided Finacle Finser's dummy ID and password that I've generated through eWable system or generated in the eWable portal. So if you have generated your eWable uh, GSP user and ID and password, this user ID and password can, can automatically use in this portion also. So if you have created your eWable user ID password, if you have already generated your eWable user ID password or uh, GSP user ID password, you can use the, that user ID and password in your e-inversing also. So you don't need to go to inversing portal and create another GSP user ID password. Once again, you don't need for creating once again GSP user ID and password. So this is a simple process. Along with this, you have to enable this option also, transport detail in locals and sale purchase. Without enabling this option, that inversing portion will not get pop off on your screen while doing the sale entry. So you have to enable these options also. So this is the second part. Next. Uh, is the third part is the master create uh, master part. You have to check whatever customer you have created. Let's say I've created customer called Busy Infotech Private Limited. Under Busy Infotech, I've defined complete information related to GSTN number, related to uh, station, uh, related to PIN code. So PIN code, station, GSTN number, these are the mandatory part. Or you can say this, if it doesn't fill up, fill it up, then while generating inversion, it will get create error or it will show that this portion is not, is missing. So your inverse can't be generated. So GSTN number is mandatory. Station, PIN code, this part needed to be filled it up. This is, this is the information that you have to derive or that you have to define your account master. Next, uh, you can uh, see the currency part. If you are doing an export in a bill or if you want to generate your invoice while doing an export transaction entry, whether where you used to sell your uh, product out of India. So in that case, you can enable your currency. Under currency, there is an option. Let's say I select this. You can see over here that for e invoice, we have to define that currency uh, part that for I am defined for uh, dollar I've defined USD under invoice so this needed to be fill it up while we you are doing an export transaction and you are generating invoice for the export transaction this point is needed to be filled up then uh, if you if you are creating an item in item you have to check that you have defined your HSM detail, you have defined your tax category detail. So this part is also mandatory in the item creation part. Next in the material center, as I say that while creating or generating invoicing, there is a many options that bill to shift to, or you can get a transaction that's called bill form, shift, uh, bill form, shift form, yeah, bill form, uh, dispatch form. In that case, if you want to phase or if you want to track the dispatch detail from your material center, uh, in that case, your material center uh, details should needed to fill up that. Uh, so in that case, you, this is the option where you have to define your uh, address of the material center. 
like uh, from place and pin code. This will automatically phase while generating invoice. If you select that, uh, you want to phase the uh, dispatch detail from MC from MC level. If you want uh, that option enabling while generating your invoicing, then this this point, then this point and this point is needed to be filled up. So these two points are needed to be filled up in that purpose in that case. Another option that should be noted in our mind while creating invoice, many uh, needed uh, for round off in that invoice or many needed for auto round off that uh, invoice. For that case, whenever you select the round off bill summary, we have to check that that round off bill summary that you have created should be under bill summary nature round off. If it is under other, then it will make create problem while generating invoicing. So in that case, you have to make sure that the round off option should be under bill sending nature round off. So these are the few things that needed to be checked in our uh, checked before generating an invoice or to be noted in our mind before generating an invoice. Now moving on to the voucher series configuration portion. The fourth one is the voucher series configuration portion. Here we have to check that in under configuration voucher series configuration for which series we are doing the sale entry and under uh, sale entry uh, we want to generate invoicing we have to select that series we have to click the voucher configuration button under voucher configuration button we have to uh, define our invoice or we have to enable our invoicing detail as well as the transportation detail also so these are the options that needed to be filled up one is the uh, invoicing detail and another is the transportation part. So these two point is needed to be enabled. Now let's say I show you the pro process of generating an invoice. I have completed all the information that is needed for generating an error free invoice. So I will start for creating an dummy invoice let's say i go to sale entry i do a sample entry with the busy info tech uh, taking as a sample party here you, if you want to change the address let's say you want to change as a uh, it may you want to make it as others this needed if you want for a different uh, shipping detail, means your billing detail is different and you want a different shipping detail in your invoice, then you can change the address over here. Here is the material center you have selected. Next, I select one item, I put some quantity over here, and I put some rate over here. After that, I generate, I click the save button to generate my e invoicing its e invoice required will automatically be enabled in this system you can set your shipping address as other uh, you can set your shipping as station as ashok bihar here you can see that you want to uh, change your shipping address or station as others nagar in that case you have to fill it up over here and the pin code if you want to change the shipping detail here you can see the transaction type. Now I am discussing about this one. Whatever information you want to phase on your invoice generation screen, you can select according to that. If you want a bill to save to detail, you have to click bill to save to. In this case, the billing detail will show and as well as billing detail, the shipping detail will also show. If the shipping details are different, you can select this bill to ship to detail also. If you go for regular button, it will phase the or uh, the plain or uh, system that uh, the party detail and the uh, billing detail and the uh, shipping detail will remain the same and it will display only the billing detail in regular part whether if you go to billing shipping option it will display both billing and shipping when you select the bill from dispatch form in this case you can define you you can get a display or you can get the information Bill from means from where your company or from where you are uh, distributing your goods or where you are, your companies belong. And dispatch form means suppose your company is belong to uh, Kolkata and you are going to dispatch your product from Bombay. 
So you want to phase your dispatch detail. So if you click the dispatch form, let's say I select this one. If you click the dispatch form, you can get an option over here to provide your dispatch detail. If your company is in Kolkata and you are want to dispatch your uh, product, you want to dispatch your provide your dispatch detail of Bombay where your product will be distributed to your customer. In this case, on that case, you can define your dispatch detail over here. You can uh, provide dispatch uh, name first of all. If it's same, let's say it's busy in Fotec, having another office in Bombay. So you can put your detail over here or another having another office in Kolkata, you can put over detail over here also. Let me say it will dispatch from Kolkata. So in this case, if you press OK button, it will pop up for the generation of e invoice. When you click that yes button, it come. There are three options coming. It's automatic JSON plain Excel. JSON is common. JSON is already implemented and already going on. Automation is also from the beginning. Busy has incorporated automation part where Webtel used to provide the service. Now, where along with Webtel, Pinnacle Film Service is also added so that you can get a hassle free and you can get a frequent uh, generation of e invoicing. So, when you click the automated button, it will display this kind of option. Now, as I was discussing, that if you want to phase the dispatch detail from your material center, means that dispatch detail that you have defined uh, recently. It will not pick from that portion. It will pick from the material center. Material center means it's like suppose I escape from here. Let's suppose I show you the option. This one. If I want to pick the dispatch detail from this location, means this material center. If I want to put the pick the dispatch detail from this MC, then there is an option for enabling while generating inversing this one. And if I don't want to uh, pick from the MC, if I want to pick from here, if I want to pick from here, the dispatch detail, in this case, I will not enable that option. Picking dispatch detail from MC, I will not enable that option. On that case, I will make it N. So it will completely track uh, the entire information that I put it in the dispatch detail box. It will phase that dispatch detail box and will generate your inverse. Let's say before generating, we are providing a check possible error also. If you click that possible error, it will show you the possible error. Let's say I show you the screen once again. Here you can see that uh, I enable once again that invoice part. Let's say uh, I've done an entry previously. See, it's showing the entire detail over here. The dispatch detail is also seen as I've selected the transaction type bill from dispatch form. So it uh, phasing you the buyer detail, it's phasing the seller detail, and as well as the dispatch detail. Seller detail and dispatch detail means the seller that uh, the saving person or the selling company, the seller company who is selling the product or who are generating an invoice against the customer is able to dispatch from other location. So uh, the uh, concern have to provide the dispatch detail over here if you define other dispatch detail and then you can go for the generate e invoicing. Here some detail is showing for the address part as I didn't, didn't provide the dispatch address over here. 
so it's uh, asking for an for at least one address So you can see on the screen that e was acknowledgement it has automatically generated if you click the ok button it will ask for to print e invoicing that is individually you can get a e invoicing print out from busy screen also no need to go to your portal no need to uh, collect your e invoicing print out from that portal it will automatically phase uh, from busy here you can see the e invoicing uh, image or you can see the invoicing uh, design You have to get entire information with the acknowledgement number, acknowledgement date, keyword code. So this is a e-invoicing uh, format. If you want to phase that e-invoicing detail of the QR code on your own tax invoice, as well as along with this, you can do also. Let's say if I uh, generate a sale invoice, I click yes button. In the standard module, you can define your e invoicing QR code also when I see the preview, preview of that standard format. Design is configurable, but still in standard format, we are providing uh, the acknowledgement detail as well as the QR code of e invoicing. You can see in the down in the bottom, bottom that uh, e invoice QR code has generated. If you want the IRM detail and the IRM date, you can also enable through this option. Go to configuration invoice document printing standard sale invoice. Here we have provided, we have enabled QR code for invoicing over here also. And if you want to print your iron at highlight this option, you can enable this option in your standard form. So this will help you to this will help you to phase your detail of invoicing in your text inverse format that you have defined standard in a standard busy design let me show you once again the preview Let me save that option. Yeah, I make it enable and save this option. Let's see once again the screen screen preview. So you can see that uh, IRM detail and acknowledgement number and acknowledgement date has automated. Uh, phase in the tax invoice. So if you enable in the standard format, it will get phased or uh, by default uh, inverse QR code will uh, generate in your bottom of your tax invoice. If you want to make configurable of your tax invoice, you can make it configurable. So this is the process. This is a simple process for generating invoices. How hassle-free way, how flexible way you can generate your invoicing invoice through busy. As uh, busy from the beginning has uh, done a, a very better uh, process to generate your invoicing in a proficient and a proper way. For betterment and for additional enhancement, we have created another more GSP to serve our customer so that they can generate their invoicing without any error or errorless mode, or you can say in a fast and a flexible mode. I let me show you another option. I have created sample of three company. Webtel is already serving as a our GSP inversing user uh, inversing portal. Uh, Pinnacle Film I have we have added Pinnacle Film as a new GSP uh, service provider for e invoicing. 
let's say I go to third company just for showing you the just for clearing you the exact scenario of the third company. It's not mandatory that you have to put both the GSP. If you want to put single GSP, you can generate your invoice with single GSP also. If you put both the GSP, it will, it will help you generating invoicing. When any of the server get down, another server will help you to generate your invoicing. So if you put both the GSP, it will be better for you and better for your customer so that uh, the invoice can generate without any interruption. See, we have, uh, I have put it both the GSP. For WebTel, I have put a GSP user ID. For Pinnacle, I have put a GSP user ID as well as password also, if you define here. In eWay, will, you can, in eWay will also, you will find this uh, GSP. This eWay will GSP is put in inverse also. As I say that, no need to go to inverse portal and generate another, um, generate again your GSP user ID. If you have generated your GSP user ID in eBay will portal, you can use that GSP user ID for the inverse purpose also. So let me summarize uh, what we have discussed or what, uh, what I have shown. Uh, first thing is that invoicing is coming uh, from 1st of October 2022, invoicing coming for above 10 crores turnover companies. Means now it's turn for the 10 crore turnover company to be under invoicing. So, busy has come with additional enhancement to capture or additional enhancement to help on that process with a new GSP introducing with a new GSP called Pinnacle Fincer. So, whenever you go to generate your GSP user and password from your eBay bill or e-invoicing portal. You have to make sure that the GSP you are creating or the GSP you are selecting under which you are creating your GSP user ID and password, it should be WebTel or Pinnacle Fencer or WebTel and both Pinnacle Fencer for in both cases. If you want both GSP user and password creation, then you have to select WebTel and Pinnacle Fencer. You may note this point. WebTel is our, uh, our working GSP and Pinnacle filter we have added, which is also in the working process. You can uh, generate your invoicing with both the uh, GSP, both WebTel and as well as the Pinnacle filter. So before generating that invoice, you have to make sure on your mind, you have to go through your some certain few uh, configuration part that that options or that information is uh, enabled or not. First, in the master part, you have to check whether you have defined your party's GST and detail or station or PIN code. Next, in the master part, you have to check your item master, whether you have defined your HSM code, whether you have defined, defined your tax category. Next, in the uh, unit master, you have to define whether you have defined your inverse unit uh, detail. And when you are, you are generating for an export transaction, you have to check on the currencies uh, master module also that you have defined your currency for the invoicing or not. So uh, as apart from this, if you uh, want to phase your dispatch detail from material center, or you can say MC, then you have to make sure that in MC, your from place and pin code should be made, fill it up in your, in your material center master. If you want to phase your dispatch detail from MC rather than from your party master. Along with this, these are the master configuration. These are the few configuration that needed to be noted out in our mind before generating invoicing. Along with this, certain point uh, should be checked in the voucher series configuration also from where you can generate your invoice. Whether, let's say if you are generating invoice from cell, you have to go to configuration part, uh, voucher series configuration part, you have to select the series of that particular cell, and then you have to enable your invoicing as well as, well as the transportation detail. Now we have provided uh, invoicing detail for debit node and credit node as well also. Let's see how it is, how we, we can configure this. See uh, in debit node, if you generate, want to generate your invoice uh, from debit note, we have provided an option for generating invoicing after debit note. For credit note, we have also provided an option for generating e invoicing. Now, debit note, credit note, maybe for many reasons, maybe for correction of invoice, maybe you are generating your debit note against a sale invoice for any kind of correction, maybe you are generating your credit note against sales for, for the purpose of sales return. So, Reason, whatever may be, 
in both the region you can generate your e invoice let's say if i go for a debit note or credit note entry let's say we do an example with a trade note entry provide today's date i put currency rupees over here right? fill up some voucher number and i select the gst nature as credit note issues against sale make sure the gst nature nature should be credit note issues against sale for e invoice generation when you are doing a credit note entry so in this case i fill busy in photo as select busy in photo on the credit part with suppose 1120 as a trade amount sale ledger as a debit with a sale amount of 1000 and igst suppose i selecting an party which is out of state so i have selected igst output over here with 120 when i click the save button it will ask you for the gst report it last for party notes or, or specify below if you go for a specify below you can define your uh, party detail over here if you select from the party master it will phase uh, from the invoice uh, that has been generated for that particular party now let's say i checked some uh, invoice number from busy info tech ledger let's say i do a uh, credit note for this particular entry i copy this voucher number put over here i define my igst in percentage for uh, that bill i let me show you that bill first what percent of gst i have selected over there i have selected 12% igst so i put over 12% igst in the credit note entry and then click the save button so you can see a uh, inverse required module as that pop up or enable over here if you click the okay button it will generate your invoicing from your credit note system also see i invoice acknowledgement may have been generated from the credit note system so you can print invoice from credit note also let's see show you from debit note system also we have provided invoice generated from debit note uh, module also whenever you go for the debit note module we say put a date over here and i have to select this gst debit note issue against sales maybe for any reason you are generating a debit note for against your sale maybe for correction or purpose or maybe any other reason i'm selecting the same photo let's say put uh, 1000 suppose 1000 put a uh, sales uh, ledger as credit with 1000 and uh, igst output okay so you can select your reason maybe it's for the correction of invoice maybe it's for the deficiency of services maybe it's for the sales and purchase purpose any reason or the reason you can generate your e invoice from debit note module also but the thing is that this option is needed to be selected if you select this one it will not create e invoice you have to select debit note issues against sale let's say i select this one for correction purpose let i take another invoice number as a sample to generate debit note against that sale invoice like select this one as a sample put i just over here also if i go for the generation it will generate automatically so this will generate as already as acknowledgement number has been generated from this portion so it's showing so we have provided e invoice generation for both the debit note purpose and for the credit note purpose also but gst nature must be against sale debit note or credit note against sale credit note against sale or debit note against sale now moving on to some common question that may arises in our mind related to invoicing topic let's have a look on such common questions
first question that arises in our mind is supplier also the, the convert in invoicing b2c suppliers b2c means unregistered parties of cash party do we generate needed invoicing for that b2c uh, and transactions the answer is completely no we need invoicing or invoicing is needed for only b2b transaction not for the b2c transactions next question e invoicing is applicable for nil vetted or exempted suppliers no e invoicing is applicable for the gstn parties not for the nil vetted or exempted suppliers what that embedded in qr code what are the information that gather in qr code whether when we scan qr code what will the information that we will gather from the qr code the information that we that we will gather from the qr code is the gstn of supplier receipt detail invoice number and date the item that has been used in the sale invoice that item info the particular edition of that particular item the iran number and the acknowledgement date of that transaction so these are the information that will be captured from that invoice qr code or a customer for which you are generating an invoice the customer can capture all this information by scanning the qr code next how to cancel the invoice cancel of iran number is possible only within 24 hours let's say uh, you have generated e invoice and uh, you want to cancel your e invoice for certain any, for certain reason maybe you have done a wrong entry or any other purpose so you have to cancel within 24 hours it's a rule government rule whether you cancel from busy we have a provision for cancelling e invoice directly from busy also no need to go to your portal and have to cancel from the portal whenever you cancel your bill in busy the, we are providing a cancel button in busy whenever you modify your bill you will see a cancel button on the screen on the top status bar screen when you click the cancel button it will pop up for invoice cancellation also if you cancel invoice it will automatically cancel your invoice in detail also so you don't need to go to a, a iron portal if you have covered your 24 hours and you want to cancel directly from busy that is not possible for that purpose, you have to go for in the portal and you have to uh, maintain certain uh, formalities to uh, get uh, that uh, possibilities to generate or to cancel or e your invoice. Mostly, the rule is 24 hours. Within 24 hours, you have to cancel whether you cancel from busy software or you cancel directly from your portal. Cancel of iron possible in case of eBay bill. If you have generated eBay bill along with e invoice, means we have a provision for generating both eBay bill and e invoice. If you enable both the option, it will automatically while generating e invoice, it will generate your eBay bill also. So while generating both the option, if you have generated your eBay bill, if you want to cancel uh, that bill, uh, in that case, if you want to cancel that e invoicing, it will not be possible because your eBay bill has already been generated for that particular transaction. So, if you have generated both eBay bill and invoice that uh, invoice for that particular transaction, then in that scenario, it is impossible to cancel your invoice in transaction. Another question that arises in our mind that invoice and eBay bill bill both GST registration required. That I am repeatedly telling uh, in this session that it is not required if you have created of your if you have generated your gst user id and password through eway bill portal while selecting our gst suvida provider webtel or pinnacle fincer then it's no needed to go to e invoice portal and then generate another gst user ID password under webtel or pinnacle uh, pinnacle fincer so with the eway bill gst user ID password you can put the same GSP user ID password in e invoice configuration also for generating that e invoice. So no need to create another, uh, no need to create uh, once again GSP user ID password in your e invoice portal. Printing of invoice is possible. Yes, possible within 48 hours. Here is also a rule. If you want to print your invoice, if you want to print your uh, invoice later, you can print your e invoice uh, in. Uh, within 48 hours, we are providing a bulk option also. Let's say if uh, a person want uh, to generate invoicing at the end of day, let's say a person has generated transaction for 10 to 12 transaction and don't need to generate uh, invoice for the particular transaction. They want to generate bulk 
So in bulk for bulk invoice generation for bulk printout of invoices, we are providing an option under transaction GST miscellaneous utilities. Let's I show you the option once again. Here you can see in my screen that in the transaction we are providing GST miscellaneous utilities where we have provided this option e wavel and e inverse generation management. From you can generate a bulk invoice from here also. Generate your bulk transaction invoice from here. You are defining your date from where from which date to which date you want to generate your invoice. If you select multiple invoice to generate, you can select your multiple invoice and one shot you can generate your invoice for that particular transaction. So we are providing a bulk generation of invoicing from transaction GST miscellaneous utilities and under GST miscellaneous utilities you can generate your invoice or you can print out your invoice also. If you want uh, to print later means if you want to print uh, on bulk or if you want to print on later uh, the transaction, you can select this invoice and you, you can print your invoice from here also. But this print printout will be applicable within 48 hours of your transaction period time. So it will phase uh, the 48 hours. After 40 hours, 48 hours, it will not allow you to print any invoicing uh, invoice or any invoicing detail from this uh, bulk updation feature also. So you have to then you have to collect that part from your inverse portal. You have to log in on your inverse portal and then you have to collect all from there. So these are the points that I need I want to clear, clear at your end. So we are on the uh, process we have uh, provided your additional benefit for your customers to serve our customer better and to serve you all. We are uh, share many common questions with you all. So still while implementing process, while we are, you are going for the implementation process or you are going, you are starting the inversing process. If any kind of doubts or if any kind of question arise in your, in your mind, in such cases, you can, uh, consult with our expert. It's a simple help, help desk number we are providing. It's 5 times 8282. Here you can consult with our expert. They will guide you. They will help you on implementation part also. And they will clear your doubts, entire doubts. I hope I have cleared all your doubts related invoicing. If any doubt arises, still arises in your mind, you can consult with our expert also. So thank you all. Thank you all for your, thank you all for your uh, presence in our webinar. We will come with many more features on busy. So stay, remain with us, be with us this way that you have so on your presence on today. Have a happy and a safety. Thank you all.